Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase a little Pick Latin translator I created in JavaFix and Scene Builder. So, first, let me just showcase an example. So, for example, if we input Paris, it's gonna be translated to Pick Latin, and it now has become a wrist pay, I guess. And how Pick Latin just works simply, we found to find the first vowel, which in this case is A, and then take everything before the first vowel, which in this case is just P, and move through the back, so we get a wrist P. And then we add a y, so we get a rich pay. We can do like man, and we get an may, and so on. But first, let's have a quick look inside Scene Builder. We just have two text fields, which is our input and output, IDs, and a button with an unaction call. And then some simple text to showcase what is what and give an understanding of the program. So first, have a quick look of how the JavaFX is set up, and then also I'm going to showcase how we do the Pick Latin translation. But this is actually a very, very important concept that my JavaFX and my plain Java is separated. So the Pick Latin translation is done in pure Java and is created inside its own class. And whenever we do any kind of stuff using Pick Latin translation, we just simply create an object and use this object to translate some text. So inside the controller, we have our pick Latin translator, we have our text fields, our input output, and we have our on action button call translate, which just simply translates our text from our. So we use our pick Latin translator to translate to get our input dot get text, translate to pick Latin, save it in a string called translated, and we then check if translated is not equal to null, and we just output the translated text inside our output field is null which means it wasn't able to translate if there was, were no vowels. Just output, not possible. Let's have a look at how we actually do our pick Latin translation. So inside my pick Latin translator class, I have two methods. I have a method that checks if a character is vowel, and a method that translates to pick Latin. So we first have this method, which is used to do the translation, where we simply check if a character is inside this string containing all the vowels. The vowel, return true. If not, return false. Very simple. And then what we do is we first take the length of our input word. We then have an index set to minus one. And then go through each of the letters in our word and check if this letter is a vowel. Then return the index as this position. If we do not find any vowels, we're not going to change the index. And when we then check here, if our index is still minus one, we we'll just return null. We we'll stop the translation. But if we have found a vowel, so we have an index, we then simply take our top string of our word from our index to the end of the word. So that's how substring works. So let's say we had Paris before. Our index is going to be one. It's then going to take everything from one to the end. So Paris plus our word substring from the beginning to the index, which is going to be zero to one in this case, which is going to be our p. Take our eris, add our p, and then add a. And that is how our pick Latin translation works. Relatively simple. And I think there might actually be a different way of doing pick Latin translation where we can actually do it if there isn't a vowel. Maybe I don't know. But this is like the basic way of doing pick Latin translation. And I thought it was a quite funny little quick program I can do where we need to input anything. It just needs to be a word. And it translated into Pick Latin. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of my Pick Latin translator, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.